I want to speak to you today. I want to speak about the so-called discrepancies in the synoptic good news accounts in the Brit Hadashah. And I want to uh, use this illustration, which is uh, in many ways very true because it actually happened. One day I was driving. Uh, I had a Jewish passenger in the back seat. And uh, I was uh, approaching from 3rd Street, uh, Avenue O in Brooklyn, and a uh, Hatsola uh, car uh, with a volunteer ambulance person driving was going about 90 miles an hour. It was a rainy day. I couldn't uh, estimate how fast he was coming, and he hit me, it, and he flipped my car around so that it damaged this car and this car. Now let's let's imagine that uh, four uh, police officers arrive on the scene to take police reports, which look like this. Let's imagine, um, you know, police officer Matthew, police officer Mark, police officer Luke, and police officer John show up and they start interviewing people. Okay, so I get interviewed and I give my account. Then the Hatsola uh, driver, he blames the whole accident on me. After all, he had the right of way. Then uh, uh, this person here, Bill, we'll call you know we'll call the drivers Phil, Gil, Bill, and Jill. Uh, this person here, Bill, well. Uh, he wasn't there. His car was parked, but it was damaged. Uh, so his wife comes out and she starts uh, telling everybody uh, that she's extremely angry at this these Hatsola speeding drivers, and she uh, blames the whole thing on him. And uh, then she uh, doesn't mention me at all. Then, uh, then Jill over here, she's at the pharmacy, but when she comes back and discovers what's happened, she also gets angry and uh, uh, speaks about the Hatsola driver and doesn't even mention me. Now, when the police write these reports up, uh, they see certain discrepancies. And so this genius uh, over at the police precinct, his name is Tovia, he thinks he's a genius. He tell, his family tells him he's a genius every day. And he looks in the mirror and tells himself that he's a genius. He throws the whole thing out. There was no accident. These discrepancies show that the accident itself can be called into question. Well, friend, uh, the, the, this is really not true at all. Now, I want to take you to the uh, Orthodox Jewish Bible here, and I just want to read. Uh, it says, then after uh, Shalosh Shanim, three years, I went up to Jerusalem to get acquainted with Kepha. And I stayed with with uh, with him, fifteen days. But but other of the Moshiach Shohim I did not see except Yaakov, Ahi uh, Ribi Melakam Moshiach uh, And uh, here uh, there's a, a note which uh, explains that both uh, both Shaul and uh, Yaakov were unbelievers before the Histalkus. This is uh, a word in reference to a ribby, such as Mashiach. Uh, it can mean rising or diffusion of the Elohut of, of Mashiach. Uh, it can also mean departure. Uh, but the point that we're making here is that uh, Rav Shaul himself gives you a harmony. He harmonizes everything, leaving out the, uh, the women's testimony because their testimony is not is not given any credence in court and where is this harmonization found it's found in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and basically it goes like this uh, a, a group of uh, women these are the funeral directors uh, the FDs they they find that the body is missing uh, which which body? The body of Moshiach. So Mary rushes off to tell Kipa, etc. 
The other women stay in the garden. They see uh, the, these, uh, this angelic appearance. Uh, they rush away. Uh, they tell no one. Later in the day, they meet Yeshua himself. Uh, then they tell the disciples. Then Peter, Orkipa, and Yohanan, uh, they, they are informed by Mary. They come to the tomb after the women have left. They see the clothes. Uh, they verify that the tomb is empty. Uh, Mary returns to the tomb. She encounters Mashiach himself. Uh, now, I I had the privilege of sitting in George Eldon Ladd's uh, class as he went through this uh, harmonization. Uh, and I can remember very clearly sitting there in Pasadena going over this. Uh, but the disciples are still un unconvinced. They gather together. Mary, uh, Miriam uh, of Magdala, she arrives. She tells her experience. Uh, that afternoon, there's, there are some disciples who uh, encounter Mashiach on the road to Emmaus. Then there's an appearance to Kepha. That evening, there's another appearance. Uh, then there's a second appearance uh, sometime later, including Thomas. Then in the Galilee, the, the, uh, there's an appearance. There's one in Tiberius, and then the 500 brethren, uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 6. And uh, there's a final appearance and a, uh, an ascension. So uh, Thank God for George Eldon Ladd, my teacher, and thank God for the verity of the Breed Hadashah.